This tutorial is going to cover how to use your rhinestone text tool. I'm going to go ahead and get a new page up for us here. And in order for our text tool right here to become active, we need to actually have a vector path selected. So I'm going to make a line here with my Bezier tool. If I put one point down and then hold my control button and put a second point down, it makes a perfect horizontal line. So if I have my vector path selected like this, I can go ahead and add text to it. I just hit my text button right here and it will add rhinestone text. You'll notice over here in our Action Apps object properties, all of our text options have become available to us. This is where I can change the text, the font, the size, the justification, and the envelope. However, if I want to change my rhinestone size and spacing, I will need to do that over in our rhinestone tab. When you use the rhinestone fonts, they all default to a stone size 10, which is the most common size for apparel rhinestones. If you need to make your rhinestone text really small, you could definitely change this to a stone size 6. I probably wouldn't go any larger than a stone size 16 for a font. I can also adjust my spacing, but I would advise against making the spacing too large or else your text will not be legible. Leave the ends on edge when working with rhinestone font. All of the fonts have been designed to have the stone ends on edge. Let's go back to our text properties and edit our text. I'm going to type in Go Tigers, hit Apply. So see it change that. Let's change the font. The Easy Gem comes with 10 fonts. The default is sans serif. Let's choose something else though. The Rhinestone Diana script. Hit apply. So see how it changed that for us right away? I can adjust my height here. The default is set as at 50.8 millimeters high. I'm going to type in 35 millimeters and hit apply. It made my text considerably smaller, but you can see that it's becoming harder to read. If you needed to go this small, you can still change the stone size to a stone size 6. See how much easier that is to read? I'm going to put this back to a stone size 10, however, and just make my text a little bit larger. I can also set the justify in this text tab. The default is to have it in the center of our line, but we can choose left, right, fit to curve, and fill box. I'm going to keep it at the center. I can also choose an envelope. The default is set to none, but I have all these different envelopes to choose from. So I can actually choose a bridge top, which is like this arch. Go ahead and hit apply, and you can see how it sets it just like that. So now that I have this set up, I can adjust the spacing, the kerning of the letters using our text edit tool, this tool right here. This tool shows me where each individual letter is set to, and it allows me the ability to move them. So I can actually take these little yellow dots and just slide them along the vector path. I'm just tweaking them to be either closer or further away from each other. I have it set now to where I think it looks good, but you see that I have some overlapping rhinestones. I can't change those right now while it is attached to this giant vector path, 
but I can separate them. So I just go ahead and go to Arrange, Break Action Object Text Apart. This will actually strip the editable text properties from this, so it is no longer like a line of text anymore. It's now just vector lines with stones on them. This is great because now I can actually come in here and individually edit these. I want to make sure that I have no overlapping stones. I am using my rhinestone tool. This one with the pencils, the rhinestone tool. This is for editing. It allows me to move stones. I can delete stones if I want to. I just want this to be as legible as possible. I can even take a, a line segment here, adjust the nodes on it, which will adjust how the stones are placed on there. Or I could even move entire line segments too. So see how I can move this? The last thing I will do is group this all together. I don't always need to apply my text to a straight line. I can take a vector line and have it be curved. Like this and add text to it. <clears throat> it will simply follow the vector path I have created. There we go. So that is how you use the text feature within the EasyJam software.